Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot. We're getting right into your full one and curious reading. Also, messages to you. Please note that we are still in full moon and Aquarius energies from last week leading up until the new moon on September 6th, um, Pisces. So how does this pertain to you here? Well, note that um, full moon Aquarius energy is all about teaching us lessons and many parts of ourselves that we have grown accustomed to avoiding in our everyday life, right? So um, in regards to you, we have the Empress and the Queen of Swords. This is all about speaking up more in what you want. This full moon in Aquarius for you highlights emotional bonds and feeling super inspired and sharing details of your deepest wounds and a um, kind of connection that you have been craving here. Because you're showing up as a nine of coins here, very um, abundant here, well off, independent, don't have to ask um, nothing for nobody here. You could have um, a Virgo in your chart or an earth sign in your chart as well. And someone sees this about you, they're admiring that. Um, they have let their guard down and I feel like so have you. You have done the healing Pisces. But I feel like in, in regards to actually speaking up in what you want here, um, you can be closed off at times. Also, I feel like you're taking back your power and your emperor's energy, um, the divine feminine energy, Pisces. You know, you're, you're no longer being selfish and putting yourself first and knowing what you want here. But when it comes to love, you're you're closed off. You know, you're the queen of source energy. You've been hurt before. And you know that this isn't the right way to go, but you're kind of in the I don't care attitude, still grieving over the past here, Pisces. It's time for you to open up, you know? We have this um, seven of wands in reverse. Someone is also trying to let their guard down and come towards you, but your guard is so up there. They're like, hell no, I'm not, I'm not coming for it, right? Page of Cups is in reverse twice. So the Page of Wands <laughs> is upright for you. You're all about taking chances, but you're being really um, smart about it now, Pisces. You know, in the past, you were all over the place with the full hair, not really looking before you leap. You're just leaping off this mountain here. Um, you learn from that, right? You're now being trying to be open here. This full moon of curse energy is pushing you towards that, right? To be one step ahead and think about things before you um, jump in, right? So here's your energy, Pisces, with the moon card in reverse. You know, karma is trying to be clearer, but again, there's still frustrations over the past. And the fact that there still is frustration and anger over the past, a tire moment is coming in where you are going to get this connection that you have been craving. Why? Because you're moving into your empress energy here, you know, taking care of yourself, um, not dealing with people who are emotionally unavailable with this king of swords energy. You're going to meet someone that's on your level here with the emperor and empress. Empress could be dealing with an Aries or an air sign, this new person that is coming in. They're going to be very clear on what they want as well. This is going to be a uh, soulmate connection here with the king and queen of swords showing up with the emperor and empress side by side like this uh, this is definitely going to be an awakening for you Part by the four of coins it's going to be an equal give and take but you have to be able to move on from this past energy could be dealing with a virgo this new person or a taurus someone's going to try to come in and um Try to get one more chance with you. I'm going to see what they're going to come in and say. Because you're kind of just like back off, right? Queen of Swords energy at the moment. So many things remind me of you, which is why they're coming forward. They're going to say that it's my fault, but I blame you. They could have been in a, another connection here, a marriage. This could be a karmic um, that is trying to get involved between you. Um, your divine masculine, divine feminine Trying to flame connection. I'm getting the karmics. They're both married, but they still they're still involved in your relationship. Like some crazy shit. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah, they're gonna try to get you back by um acknowledging their wrongdoings. But you as the queen of swords energy, Pisces. I feel like the damage is done. You're gonna cut them off. Well, okay. <laughs> All these cards want to fly out. Fly out. Yeah, you're gonna cut them off. 
Spare is also saying with this full moon in Aquarius this week, there's still some healing that needs to be done over this third party. There's still anguish and um, exhaustion over the past that needs to be cleared out. And that's with journaling, sitting with yourself, asking you, why do you still feel this hurt? Why do you still feel this way? Be gentle and start pouring this love into yourself a little bit. And that's doing things small as wearing your favorite t-shirt or um, eating a fruit or vegetable or anything that make you feel good. Because right now you feel like shit, you know, death cards in reverse, seven of swords, you just want this apology. You're tired of feeling like you're being taken advantage of and it is going to come in, but there's so much stress here that Spirit is saying for you that now it's time to choose your path so that this world can become upright and you can find your happiness again. But you're refusing to walk away with this eight of cups in reverse is blocking that, right? It's blocking this happiness from trying to come in. So... As you do that, there's a Leo that's trying to come for as well as Scorpio energy here. For some of you, they know that you're not in your right mind right now, which is why they're going to try to come in and mend things with you. You are going to get the justice that you deserve for some of you, but I'm telling you, this person is still going to be in their ego here. I feel like if you do get back to this person, it's going to last until Libra season and it might wither away. If we do have the Ten of Swords here in the fall yeah seven of wands yeah have your guard up when this person comes in um use your discernment use your intuition like i said right now you're kind of not in the right headspace um if this person comes in i feel like you're still going to be stuck they're only going to come in for one thing so <laughs> take that wand and block that <laughs> spices this five of cups energy there's there's a lot of grief here i kind of just want to see what this energy is about pisces what is this five of cups energy Okay. Coffin. Endings brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, blooming, fun, flirting, one of the date. Not today. Not dealing, avoiding a conversation. Call person, boundary, so angry. Pisces. Y'all got someone that is wanting to date you. Someone that is ideal, that you think may be ideal, but you're ignoring them because you're so stuck over an ending here. Which is why you're in your five of cups energy. Morning over this three of cups over the past. Not seeing this beautiful soulmate. Two of cups connection. That is right behind you. Really? Pisces. <laughs> I feel like you know this person. You might not. But being stuck is blocking you from a soulmate connection here. Um, you are pushing the love of your life away. You don't even know it wow all right let's dig deeper because you're stuck on a player like person we have kings on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand you feel strong along by this person reminiscing keepsake learn from the past learn from this pisces so that you can make more memories this person was not the one for you it's time to move on this kind of wanted to come out in reverse as well not taking action on this is just gonna keep pushing you away from your wish fulfillment uh, which is a new beginning, which is what you want internally. You just have to start putting your cups in a row so that this connection come in, can come in. Right now, it's like this, right? The page of cups is in reverse because you're not even pouring this little cup into yourself. I feel like my throat is giving out because your spirit guys are frustrated with you. It's saying to get out and have fun and stop building up a brick wall. else from this soulmate here i love you you and i were too young i can't stop thinking about you i remember every detail of that day again someone's going to try to come in and make this work um any advice here for my faces on this trust Trust in the universe here. Trust in the situation and ask your angels for guidance here. You have a strong spiritual tribe is what spirit is saying to me, to your ancestors. Know that whatever you want is up to you. If, if you want to keep building up a brick wall, do it. You know, you're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle. But a time is going to come in where it's going to say enough is enough. And a beautiful king of cups energy is going to try to come in. Or is this going to force you to embrace your king of cups energy? And deal with your emotions and get them in a row, right? But bending up a brick wall, you know, you want this love, but you're not manifesting it because you, you're not opening your heart. 
But once you open your heart, look what happens. This cherry is going to come out right. Things are going to manifest for you and the beautiful commitment is going to come in. But you're still stuck on this manipulative person, this ex here on things not working out, who had many options, who didn't care, you're grieving over that. You know, you're missing out on a beautiful love connection here, right? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. You're missing out on the love of your life because you're stuck on an ex someone who wasn't meant to be in your life um forever but look who's trying to come in with this knight of cups you're your 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 soulmate your husband your wife your knight in shining armor <laughs> your knight in shining woman empress lady <laughs> all right pisces that was a lot um be patient with yourselves in this healing things are gonna work out for you um, it's okay to grieve and heal. Just know that things are going to get better. But suppressing it and just going on with your life is only um, putting a band-aid to a wound. It's not really healing things, all right? Just a little advice there, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.